Well, we'd like to find the dividing line that goes with these dots and, and regroup them. Uh, you have a PDF that kind of takes you through that. Uh, but you still have to do the calculations when you do it. And uh, if, if you have to do quite a few, you'll definitely want a spreadsheet. And then w once you get the answer, you would like to have a plot. And the easiest way to plot it is going to be with the spreadsheet. And so I, I've set things up already. I've put in the blue points. I've put in the red points. And my suggestion is you do the same sort of thing. You don't have to change the font color or anything like that. But I just did it so you all could see better. Uh, I also made it bold so you could see it better. And so here's the blue, here are the red points. I've already entered them. And now, so we, the first thing we need to do is find those average X's and average Y's. So I'll click in here and say equals, and it's just average. So A, B, E, R, and G, average. And I open that and I, well, those are the ones I want to average. So I just highlight them. I close that parenthesis, I hit enter, and there's my average 4.375. Um, now, if I just grab this and pull it over, uh, notice that if I double click on that, those are what are being averaged this time. Uh, if I double click on this one, those are what's averaged because you see the A's and the original one over here have now changed to D's because I pulled it sideways. Okay, so there are all my averages. And I could have done that with copy and paste if I get rid of those. Um, and uh, do a copy, do a control C, whatever. If I uh, then paste, uh, they're there as well. So any way you can fill those in, uh, that'll work. Okay, so there are my averages. Now I need the midpoints. But remember, the midpoints are really just averages of these two numbers, so I could use average. Uh, I'm going to do it twice. You only have to do it once. Uh, but I'm going to do it two different ways. So I'm going to say equals average. Okay, so if I just want the average of the x's, I can click on that one, put a comma, click on that one, and close it off. And I get my average of 5.5. Now, I can't just drag things down because they aren't in the right place, so I'll just have to do it again. Average of the Y's. So I have that, comma, that one. Uh, did I do that? B9, huh, try that again. Oh, I think it's there. Yep, it's there. Okay. And 5.25. So I could use the average function, or uh, I can get those same numbers simply by doing a parenthesis and saying, well, I want that one plus that one divided by 2. Hit enter. I get my 5.5 uh, equals, uh, I want my parentheses, so uh, my y value is that one plus that one divided by 2. And there we go. There are my midpoints. Either way, I wanted to do it. Uh, slope. Um, the original slope. I, I just you could do minus one over the slope just to start with, but I, I think it's always good to to keep in mind what the heck slope is, and that's the y's. So here are my y values. Um, it doesn't really matter what order that one. The blues first. That's the way I did it in the PDF. So that one minus that one divided by, again, the blue, whoops, I forgot my parenthesis, so there's a parenthesis, uh, the blue minus the red, and there's my slope. Now some things are in bold, some are not, because of the, the spreadsheet just kept them that way, I guess. Um, so there is that slope, but I need the reciprocal, so I'll just say equals minus 1 divided by that number and enter and now uh, I need my dividing line plotted well here are the x values no y 0 to 10 I'm going to just use two points um, 
because that'll be easiest. That's all I need to draw a straight line. Uh, so I'll use 0 and 10 because, well, on this drill, they're always between 0 and 10. If, if the x values were something different, like 0 to 100, I would come over here and do 0 to 100. So uh, I'm just picking whatever x values I have on my uh, actual problem. And so there's the x value, and I need my point slope form uh, so equal because I've got y equals. I mean, really, as you look at it, it says y equals, but I just say equals. And I just need the right-hand side. So I need my slope that I'm going to use. I need that number. So I click on it, times. Now I need my x value, that's that one, minus my midpoint. Take either one, of I'm going to take the one there. Um, OK, and then plus the midpoint y, and I get that, and now I hit enter. Now if I, I can retype that again, uh, or I can um, do a pull down and fill in. The thing is, if I do a pull down, it's going to be wrong because the, the slope needs to stay the same, and the two uh, midpoint parts, the x and the y, need to stay the same. So if I were going to do that, I need to tell it, well, don't change the row number. So I can put a dollar sign in there. I could put a dollar sign in here. And I could put a dollar sign in there. And that will keep those row numbers from changing. And then if I pull it down, uh, now I'll, if I double click, you can see that see it still says row 16 for the slope. Uh, row 11, row 12 for those. But now, instead of A20, it's A21 because I didn't put a dollar sign on any of that. So there are all the things I need to now make my plot. Well, okay, so I go to make my plot, and probably the easiest thing to do is, um, you know, highlight uh, uh, that, and then I say insert a chart. And it typically comes up as a column chart. I don't want that. I want a scatter plot. Uh, so I'll do that. And you know, I can at this point just say finish. And the reason I do that is then I can grab it and kind of move it where I want it. Uh, move it over here out of the way. Now it's it's interesting. I kind of knew it would probably do this. Is usually blue is the first color it comes up with, and that's I did the blue first. Uh, I could always find ways to change the colors and, and so forth, but you know, there's my, my blue, my four points of blue. Now, uh, I'm going to edit this. Uh, depending on your software, you don't necessarily have to say to edit. Um, but there's my chart area, and what I need to do is work with adding more data and so forth, and that's usually under data series, not data range. Now, the name. I'd really like it to say blue. Uh, right now, if you look at this, it's B2. That's the, uh, the Y, and we see Y over there. I'd rather have it say blue, so I'm going to get rid of that and click and just go here to blue. And now it says blue. We can see that over there. Okay, so that's one set of data. Now I need to add another. Uh, the name, I'd like it to be red. And so there's red. Um, the x values. There are my x values and the y values. And every software is a little bit different, but this is the idea. Uh, if you need help on that, I'm happy to help you. And and so there are our data, and the red actually came up as red or orange or something like that. And again, it usually goes in that order. It kind of goes blue and then red. And so that worked out great. But you know, if it had instead used green or something, I could either say, well, I don't really care that it's green, or I could go in and try to change the color. OK, so that's everything except our dividing line. And so I need to add our dividing line, and that's unnamed series. Uh, I think I'll uh, go here with name, and I'm going to pick dividing line for that. 
and then uh, x values. Uh, there are only two, but uh, x values are right there. And y values are right here. And, and I say OK. Now the problem is I don't actually have the line. And so what I need to do, um, and again, every different software is a little different, um, but I can go in here and say I want to format this data series and notice um, under line it says I don't, don't have one. So I'm going to say, oh, let's make a line. And then um, actually icon, I don't really need, so that's the icon there, I don't really need that. Um, you can leave it, but I'm going to take it out and I'm going to say OK. And there's my dividing line. And there's my picture. And notice my picture, it, I haven't changed any colors yet, but my picture looks a whole lot like the answer uh, we get if we hit, you know, show solution on this problem. Um, you know, there's my what used to be a red dot, there's the red dot, and now it's going to be a blue because I'm going to regroup it. But you see, I've, I've gotten uh, these and I can change the colors. And the, w the way I'd suggest changing the colors is maybe, um, you know, you come down here and just copy that. So I'm going to say copy and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say paste. And so there they are. Now I need to figure out which one is which. And usually, like in here, if I say edit, uh, and again, your software may do something a little differently, but usually you can figure out what these points are. And there, that one says the values are four and six. So if I go to the red one, that four and six, um, if I, uh, cut that and I'm going to paste it over here okay now those are the the data I should have as uh, that one should be blue and then this one again see I, I've got a mine I have to say edit but uh, yours you may not have to this is three and a half seven and a half and so if I go look for three and a half seven and a half that's that one and I cut that and I paste it over here. Um, now these I can just uh, uh, cut and paste up there. Uh, however you want to move them. I, you know, uh, I don't tend to retype things if I don't have to. I usually use copy and paste. It makes for a few, a few fewer errors. Uh, but there we go. And, and that's what we have. And if I were to plot these data instead of those data, they would look like this. And again, you could see that I'm going to um, copy those. I'm going to paste here. It's going to give me a warning. Do I want to do that? Yeah. And now, so I do that. Notice my line changed. Um, well, that's because these are all formulas, and so we'll talk more about that with the project. But what I suggest is you just go here and um, make a template just like this. So I'm going to undo this so it goes back to um, what we had. Uh, but if you, if you make this sort of template, all you really have to do then is if I give you a new problem like this, you just have to type in the X and Y values and it automatically changes. So for instance, oh, you know, even or if I saw I had an error or something, oh, that wasn't a 6.5, that was a 2. And I hit enter. Um, then all of a sudden things change and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is these are the new midpoints, new slopes, new dividing line, but it drew them all, and I can now see that oh, if that had been a two, not a whatever it was, I'll undo in a minute, um, then this would have been the answer, 
and oh, I see, I would have had three blue, five red after I regrouped. But as it was, because a red and a blue change places, so I'll undo that, because the red and the blue just kind of change places, uh, what we see is we have four red, uh, four blue, and we can answer our problem now. Okay, that's it.